excited are you to get this started? And can you give the fans any idea what we're going to see out of this offense? Yeah, so, I mean, this is what we come here to do. I mean, it's been a long time. Uh, it seems like from the last game we played, so, uh, you know, he used to tell us that, you know, we had to wait another, you know, two weeks. I feel like we would go crazy out here to lose. Afraid to go play a game and compete at a high level. Um, as far as our offense, I think um, just a really up-tempo uh, offense. I think you're going to see a lot of guys just uh, fight to win, fight to finish. Uh, that's been a big emphasis on everybody's part, not just offense, but uh, just fight to finish because those create those big plays down for what you're doing right now in Playing fast, that's what we're here. Um, that's the credo. Isn't it? Would tell, explain to the fans what that means, playing fast, what we're going to see. So, uh, I would say just try to I guess, create chaos for the defense. So when you, Trying to play fast enough where the defense isn't set. So when you see D linemen standing up or uh, defense players bending over, catching their breath, like that's the objective. And you see that on film. Uh, we got our defense like that a couple of times uh, in camp. And so uh, when you see guys running around, not where, not where to line up and things like that, that's, I think, uh, when you know you're playing fast. No yeah. huddle, it's just going to be <laughs> just rolling. Try to get a lot of plays in the game. Right? Yep. JT, when you first heard the the goal for every game should be 250 yards of rushing, 250 yards passing. Does that seem like a lot? Does that seem like a, an unreasonable goal for every single week? Um, I feel like uh, you want to set a high standard and then try to live up to that standard. So um, I, know I haven't been anywhere else, so that's always been the I guess, objective. So uh, I, know I feel like I mean, is it is a lot to ask for, but Top schools, and that should be something that should be a high goal. So we try to do that. JT, you've been around a while. You've seen a lot of defenses, but Indiana runs that four-two-five with that extra player in the secondary. How different and how difficult can that be to prepare poor from your standard four-three? Um, I would probably say um, with a kind of hybrid type of guy, understanding that he can't play coverage, uh, so just making sure. And, uh, we used to count for him all the times and know that he's not just a, a matchup that we could you know, exploit, things like that. So just kind of know where he's at on the field. Uh, like I said, because we do like to get some uh, snow where he's at, make sure we account for him uh, and run the best. What have you seen? How, how valuable has uh, Coach Wilson been as far it. as insight, maybe just almost individually on what Indiana's players are capable of from a defensive standpoint. How much, how valuable has that been preparing for an opener like this? Yeah, I think that's uh, definitely valuable. Uh, I mean, I think recruit all those guys in the opener and been there for you know, a couple of years. So uh, I guess understanding the I guess, strengths and weaknesses and uh, just then trying to attack them. So it's not even that. Where have you made, uh, since Coach Wilson's been here, Ryan, where do you feel like you've made? The biggest strides. What's what's different, or what do you think is better about you? Um, let's say uh, get back to timing, and then uh, so the timing with I guess the offense and the pass game, and then also to be uh, just throwing while we have to test the receivers. So I understand that getting to play guys being all over them and, and guys not getting any more open. Uh, and then two, you have to understand that uh, holding the ball also is a person off the line. So try to put in the best place for our guys and make the play on the best place for our guys.